The heat will be making news in every community in Metro Detroit this week. We are expecting temperatures that really become a health hazard. Kim is guiding us exactly through what we can expect in the next few hours and really the days. It's going to be a long stretch. That's the problem is that we have a prolonged period of these warm days. We can get through one or two, but when you have a string of four or five, that's when it's officially classified as a heat wave. And we do have temps that are well above normal for this time of year. 93 degrees is our current temperature, but that doesn't tell the story. You factor in the humidity, which is high, and it feels like it is 100 degrees. And it's not just today. We are looking at this all week long. So heat index forecast, you can see heat indices are going to stay in the 90s all the way through the end of the week. Now at night we cool down a bit and then we'll heat back up again during the day. But even cooling down at night isn't enough as we stay in the mid to upper 70s. That's why the National Weather Service has issued a heat advisory. Now what you see in gray here, Genesee, Oakland, Macomb and Wayne counties not included in the advisory or the watch. Those are one level up. Up. It's an excessive heat warning if you live in these counties. And the reason why is something called the urban heat island. You might have heard of this before, but when you live in the city, there's a lot of concrete, not a lot of green spaces. And so that concrete absorbs the heat during the day. And it's really tough to cool down at night as well, as opposed to rural or more suburban areas. So the more concrete you have, obviously, the hotter the temperature is going to be. Now let's talk about high temps over the next several days. You can see our normal high is 81 for Tuesday will be at 94 96 for Wednesday and Thursday and even on Friday we are staying in the low to mid 90s you factor in the humidity and it will feel like it's over 100 degrees now in these conditions it's not difficult to squeeze out a shower here and there even a thunderstorm and that's what's happening right now dry here in Metro Detroit but if you go just up to the north and parts of the thumb there are some showers and thunderstorms these are non severe any storm that we get right now will be widely scattered and also heavy rain will be the main concern. It's not a situation where we'll get those high winds and hail, heavy rain and excessive rain and the potential of some flash flooding is what we would be concerned about with these storms. A few more to the west of Kalamazoo. By the way, that storm that came through last night when there was a tornado warning, if you have some friends and family over in the Kalamazoo, Goebbels area, uh, that was not confirmed as a tornado by the National Weather Service today. More than likely it was just a downburst, but there's a lot of damage out to the west. But we'll see if we have anything pop up here in Metro Detroit. But as of right now, it is completely dry, but it's a good time to have that forewarned weather app handy because these would be those kind of pop up storms that could really uh, pop up at any moment. 75 will be the overnight low tonight. A few clouds, very humid. Winds are out of the south at 5 to 10. And then tomorrow, right back up to 94 degrees. A little bit better chance for a scattered shower, maybe a thunderstorm tomorrow afternoon. Winds out of the south, southwest at 5 to 10. Unfortunately, this heat is going to stay around for the next several days. 94, 96, 96, and even into the weekend. The start of the weekend will be 92. A break will come perfect timing on Monday, just in time for the fireworks. Karen. All right. Thanks, Kim.